They got stable here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pope Beta. It's a tier 7 Soviet carrier. We got this Yednevi guy on the screen there. Uh, this game captured the base mode. We're going to be talking a lot about capture the base mode strategy. So even if you're not a carrier wonk or even that interested in them, uh, you'll still probably get some useful tidbits in terms of how to think about this game mode, which is, you know, I'd say it's probably about, what do you think, 40%, might even be 50% of the games. Uh, it seems like domination mode is a little bit more frequent, but if you're not paying attention to the strategy in capture the base mode, this is a very easy mode to lose uh, kind of haphazardly as well. And in fact, we're going to be in a situation in this game where it's going to be like, okay, we're up big on the ships. Are we going to lose the game? Perhaps. Okay, so we'll be talking about how to think about uh, capture the base mode as the game goes on. First, we'll talk about uh, the Poe Beta and the Soviet carriers a little bit. Now, a lot of you guys are always asking me, what's your recommendations for inspirations for carriers? I was going to put it back into you guys. A lot of you guys uh, play carriers. I mean, I, I got all the event commanders, community contributor for the game, so I get all the stuff to preview for you guys, of course. Um, and I use, you know, transformers and, like, schoolgirls or some shit like that. So I don't even know. I know Tanaka's a good uh, pick. Torpedo damage. Uh, if you got Swirsky, which isn't exactly free to play yet, you could put that in as a uh, concealment. Some of the AA perks I think might be interesting to look at. Uh, but you guys, let me know in the comments what you guys use for your free to play carrier builds. Now, interesting on the aiming here, I'm still getting the hang of aiming these uh, bombs. But if you see there, we got a pretty decent shot 8,000 with a fire. And basically, what I'm trying to do when I'm aiming these uh, skip bombs is whatever line you pick, and uh, the, the lines that are closer to the planes, easier to hit, further away, tighter spread, more damage. This is kind of the theory. But my aim point, at least, uh, I don't know if it changes if you change the camera angle uh, more vertical or whatever, but I'm always trying to aim these, the, the horizontal lines we'll see in the, the skip bombs, right at the top of the ship, like almost just a smidge right over it. You know, like if you're aiming your main guns and you got a broadside shot you kind of want to aim right at the water line where the ship uh, hull meets the water here we're kind of in my opinion i'm trying to aim at the top of the the hull so basically where the top of the ship meets the air not counting the tower or whatever uh so I'll keep an eye on that uh, you can see the shots that i missed short i'll try and point out one that's coming up uh we'll see i aim a little bit in front of that and then uh some of them uh, that we hit, well, that'll be the aim point. Here, though, I want to point this out. This is an interesting strategy for carriers. You can see on the map, the guy was angled basically away from the battleship fleet, but I torp in a way that I'm trying to get him to turn, and he does turn. He tries to dodge these torps, but we kind of trick him into showing broadside, and look at that. That wasn't the torpedo damage, but he got a wicked shot in there from the teammates. And this is... World of Warships is about creating crossfires. There's like two or three core principles of this game. And creating crossfires one of them. Look at the aim point here. A little bit low there compared to what I was saying, but the ship was moving towards us. So basically the line, you know, you want to, for sure the line be on the ship or just a smidge above. Okay, if you're aiming in front of that, in front of those lines, you're going to be missing the shots in the water. But getting back to the crossfire uh, concept, you know, when we're playing battleships, we want to be kind of playing off of our own team's battleships, creating space in between them so that... Uh, the opponent has to point their ship at either myself in the battleship or my teammate, and then the other one who's got space in between us, we get shots on the side, we get the damage. Okay, these are basically, if you want to view it just as a pure board game or even like a game you could play on a 2D sheet of, sheet of paper, you're just moving things around trying to create these 90 degree angles. And plane's no different. Here again, you know, where this guy's getting low, I'm primarily just trying to keep him spotted until they take him out right there and clear this eastern flank out. But I was prepared to, you know, if he had more health or whatever, come in from that 90-degree uh, angle again. Once again, he's either going to take a bunch of torps, in which case we'll get the damage, or if he angles in towards those torps, which he's most likely going to be doing, uh, then he's going to eat the the big shots. And same thing here. Look at this Bismarck. Now he's... He's not quite uh, angled at these guys yet, but I'm suspecting he's probably going to because I'm looking on the map saying, okay, he's got all these guys to the north. Uh, he's probably going to want to turn in there, but he just kind of slams on the brakes. He's, he's at a decent angle on those guys, but because of that, now we have the access to the side, right? And so there's the boom, 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 three hits and one 
Uh, flood, not even that great of a shot with these uh, torpedo bombers. A lot of the salvos are going to get our five plus torps. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of the concept. Looking on the map saying, okay, where is this guy going to try and angle and how can I attack it? Or if I can attack this guy, can I force him to kind of uh, go against his what it should be doing with the angling. Here's a short shot. You see where that line was kind of at the water line almost? And now the guy's backing up a little bit, so that creates a little bit more space. But those bombs do drop in the water there. So, again, you know, I'm not a pro at aiming these uh, skip bombers, but I'm just trying to pass along what I've accrued in terms of experience so far. So I'd aim point, I would put that those horizontal lines right at the top of the ship. And basically there's like four hashes. The close one, the closest one of the planes... That's where you're going to drop immediately. That's when we're going to attack these uh, destroyers or even this Bismarck here. I want He's close enough to the island that I don't want to uh, miss this guy. And he's also getting low. So I'm thinking, okay, let's hit him with the closest bomb there. We're getting shot, so kind of forced to drop a little bit early again. And we actually <laughs> missed most of those. But that's that close line there. That should be basically uh, automatic hits. But a lot of the bombs will be spreading out horizontally. So you're going to miss uh, some to the right and left of the target if you drop it on the right you know, distance. Whereas the further away, all those bombs tend to cluster up towards each other, you know, at the final hash. So you're going to be landing more bombs, getting more fires, hopefully. Uh, but then you're going to have to lead a little bit more. And there's a little bit more time for the opponents to react. You can actually angle against these HE bombs and kind of dodge them that way. I've been having some success playing against those. Once again, Alabama is forced to angle against these guys. And we, once again, we're just trying to get this uh, right angle shot and see if we can get some damage there. So, Taking, now that we've kind of covered, you know, the the basics of the Soviet carriers, I mean, that's all I really have to say about them. Um, but now we're going to get into the capture the base mode strategy. Pinging the base, what's going on here? Uh, well, common, common, common <laughs> capture the base mode strategy where we got one guy. He's not even on this big map here. Uh, but I'm saying, okay, well, I'm going to move my ship on their cap just because I can move across this map here. And I want to have a piece for sure on their base we don't communicate with our random teammates we don't know what they're going to do looks like they're all going south though even though there's no resistance on the map and then we have the battleship in the northwest who previously had some destroyers around them and now they're on the base so i'm going to be ping 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 the base for the rest of the game capture the base mode basically what we want to be doing is put one or two ships on their cap to force them to react to it uh, and if they don't react to it, then you win the game that way. Everyone else should be basically defending. So I'm looking at these uh, guys on my team, and they're all going to be chiming on the radio too, saying, shoot the destroyers, defend the base, but they're still going to be sailing off in the west looking for the carrier. Irrelevant. This is a game that I'm like, we're going to lose this at this point in time, and we're going to lose this game, okay, because we got the one battleship uh, that could go back to defend, but he's pushing into two destroyers. Uh, we also got another battleship coming from the east. Or the, the battleship that was over is already dead. We got one more battleship that's going to try and uh, reset, though. And how this game mode works is basically, you know, if you get one or two pieces on there, uh, the base begins to be captured. And then it's who can reset, right? So you need someone to spot. Like, even if we have a battleship that's in range that can hit targets in the defend area, in the base area, if nobody can spot those targets, that's useless. Right, so we got a destroyer. I, this would be a great time to be on the comms with this, this destroyer. I'd be saying, slow down. Tell me if you got a smoke. If you do, what I'm going to do is spot these guys. I'm not going to get shot down by them. Uh, you drop your smoke, fire your guns at them, and then let's whittle them down or get rid of them that way. Same thing with the battleship. But because we don't have that option, and these guys are in the smoke at the time, uh, we're just trying to hit them with these uh, skip bombs. See if we can do anything. But they're already, you know, they're almost... Uh, over well, they're over halfway in terms of capturing the base now. Friesland, I'm trying to say to the team, help this guy, because he's mo he's a Friesland. He's got terrifying guns, but he's still engaging a two v one destroyer fight. Now we just got this battleship. The Alabama's turned around. He's going back. He's playing pretty responsibly. Got a little bit further away from the base than maybe we would like him to, but he's going back. And we did get some resets right there. Looks like the Friesland is scoring some shots with the gun. So that buys the team time. And we have a huge lead. Okay, all we got to really do, we're not going to lose on score. If the time runs out and we still have someone alive on the board, uh, without them capturing the base, we're going to win this game. Okay. Well, 
that said, if they start killing a lot of ships, which would be tough for them to do with two destroyers on the board, but let's say the carriers started going ham somehow and <laughs> sunk everyone, uh, because they are on our board, they are actually increasing the score in the background. But that's neither here nor there for this particular case. But we're just basically trying to get over here, spot these guys, and then hope this battleship once again is going to reset them, because that negates all their progress here. Once again, if they don't actually capture this base, uh, then it's not an issue for us at this point in time. If it's a very close game with the ships tight, uh, then them being on the base is a much more important scoring play. Okay, but we're on their base. We got two ships on their base. They got two ships on ours. The only one that can spot our guys on the red cap is the carrier because they have the two destroyers up north in the cap. And the only one who can reset us on the red cap is also the carrier. So he can basically spot and reset us, but it's going to be tough to do. As I'm going to keep dropping planes, and then we got a battleship, whatever it is. So he's not going to get a lot of strikes off on us. Meanwhile, once again, I'm basically the only one who can spot at this point in time. Okay, so, you know, you and these guys going off to the west, I don't know if they fire another shot the rest of the game or not. It's irrelevant, but it's a bad, bad play. I mean, you know, just, you got to have a mindset in capture the base mode. I'm going to defend the base first and foremost. I already say this. Uh, I want to highlight this one shot though here because look at this Fletcher. He's almost full health. Now I have dev struck numerous destroyers with these bombers. They're extremely dangerous. But look at this guy. Once again, the aim point right at the top of the ship. And we got, I don't know, about 10,000 damage or whatever. And that's, you know, the destroyers, you need to be extremely afraid of these HE bombers. Uh, now we got them low enough. And then the Alabama, as long as he doesn't get smoked, uh, he'll be able to take them. But we're also, once again, almost about to capture the base. So. I mean, that's the tension, that's the pull. My advice is always, though, if you, once you realize how capture the base mode works, and there's a double strike to finish it outstanding, once you understand how it works, you are responsible for defending the base because most of the guys on your team will not understand how the game works. So relying on your team to go back and defend, foolish, because they're not going to do it most of the time. That's a look at the Poe beta for you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys. And we'll see y'all later. Peace.